Hey y'all, it's me, your sister. Um, I just wanted to come to y'all with a quick word. And I wanted y'all to know that right now in this time, God wants y'all to do your part. Just do your part. I like, don't worry about the premises. Don't worry about nothing that's going on around you. Just do your part. Whatever it is, keep seeking him. Stop smoking weed, please. Stop fornicating. Like some of you are with men that you call your husband that has not married you. They have not married you. I don't know if they're going to or whatever, but you play in house. And it's not it's not cool. You know what I'm saying? God don't want you wasting your time and like your body is your temple. He dwells within you and you're gonna let somebody, you know, he ain't gonna live in no mess. He ain't finna live in no filthy place. That's why you don't hear from him and you don't know anything that he's trying to say. You gotta come and hear somebody else tell you what he could be telling you himself is because your vessel is just not clean. Like you come to him and your hands ain't clean at all. Like you're not you you don't make you don't clean up house for him. Like you don't even clean up your house enough for him. Like your intent. I'm not talking about like yeah, some of you yeah need to clean up within your homes, but I'm talking about your body, your temple, your house. Like you have you you want the living God to be inside of you. He's not gonna come and live in you when you have all kinds of stuff going on when you're smoking, you know, you're drinking. And mainly what he's really, really is what a lot of y'all are doing that say that y'all know Jesus, y'all are having sex and y'all not married. Fornicating, whatever you want to call it, I wanna get honest with it. Y'all are having sex. You know what I'm saying? You're having sex and you are smoking weed. You know what I'm saying? You're smoking weed. You're smoking, you're smoking weed. You know, you're getting high, you're having sex, you're doing things that that's why you are depressed. That's why you are discombobulated. You don't know left from right. That's why so much is going on, like your children cutting up, acting the food. They don't respect you because you're not respecting yourself. They see men come in and out the house from one man to another man, you know? Whether you say to your friends, homeboys, homegirls, whatever you call it, you know, you don't you don't live your life correctly. You don't live your life holy and acceptable to God. And I'm not here to badger you. I'm not here to to hurt your feelings. Cause you know what? God don't care about our feelings. Cause yesterday, day before yesterday, I got my heart broken. Like literally broke like when you just for just when your first love just broke your heart. I got my heart broken. I offered him to mend it and he was just really teaching me. He was just teaching me and preparing me not to have a fear of man. And he allowed me to stand up to someone that I had feared for many, many years because they was in authority over me. So I wouldn't be honest with him. But I'm here to be honest with y'all. You got to stop it. Like just having sex with somebody and you tell me, you, you, so you're going to have to stand for something because if not, that woman or that man, and mainly this is for the women. It's a lot of women that are letting men take them down through there. I'm saying they don't, they ain't about nothing. Like you about the closest thing to God that, that he know, but then he trying to make you pull you so close to whatever he doing from snoring powder, you know, to just popping pills. All kind of things that you just don't need to be doing. Some of you want to pop pills, I guess, to lose weight. Snore powder gets to lose weight. You know, and I'm talking to my women right now. Fellas, you know, I don't have a um, big, big word for you guys. And it may pertain to you, but I really feel like these are for my ladies. You know, y'all got to stop having sex with these men. And, like, you're going to have to value yourself. Because if you're giving it away feeling like that you can hook him through sexual intercourse and that's what's going to make him marry you and you, you know, working and keeping the house clean, playing house ain't going to get no husband. You know what I'm saying? You need to get yourself ready for Jesus. You know, make yourself holy and acceptable. Get the vessel ready, like for real, like y'all unclean. And uh, you come to him with prayers and it's like, he really don't know you because you haven't spent any time with him. Like, you know, it's like, who are you? You know, seriously. And it's like, right now you have the time to fix it. You have the time to turn. And I don't know who this is for because I don't have a scripture. Or anything. I don't think I can do is say you trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean on uh, his understanding and not your own. And that's just <laughs> straight from what I feel in my heart to say to you. But fornication, 
and smoking pot, weed, marijuana, whatever you want to call it, is really big in the body of Christ. And some of you are have your back, you have backslidden. You know, you may have not been on that type of time, but some kind of way down the line, to me, it seems like with the women, it's the men you connect yourself with that are really bringing out these characteristics in you that you're you're probably trying to get away from. You need to let him go. Like if he's going to be having you outside of the will of God and you uncomfortable and you know that what you're doing ain't really you. Like I told you, I, I used to smoke weed for real, like for real, for real. But I got to a point where I was like, this is not me. I feel like I ain't want nobody to see me high. Like none of my family, it just wasn't my look. It wasn't the, like I knew that it wasn't the girl that I was trying to be. I wasn't trying to present myself as somebody walking around, eyes fire red smelling like weed. Like I just didn't want to be her. It bothered me. So if you if that is you, you gotta stop it. Cause I'm saying if it bothers you, that's the spirit that's God tugging at you and he's telling you stop it. I know I wanted to before I even did this channel, you know, I, I it's just so much. I don't even want to hold y'all up this long. Just telling y'all. But y'all, for real, come on. Those men that don't mean you no good that's dragging you down through there and having you uh, not only just being sexual with him, but all kind of sex that you got to do that ain't even worth it or just threesomes. You know what I'm saying? Um, anal. Yeah. That kind of stuff. Because now that I've seen you ladies, if he's, I'm going to be real because the, the spirit you need to, you need, you know, you need to know. If he's asking for anal, now that I've seen he's gay. Yeah. It's gay because you are a woman and you don't have no re that's perversion that's perverted if he will have sex with you in an anal way then he will you know ain't in in anally whatever you know that you know what i mean if he'll do that to you he'll do that with a man because that's that's what homosexuals do that's what kind of sex, sex that they have so why would you be used, you know, your body to do something like that, you know, to for waste to come out of, you know, for somebody to be asking you to do, you know, have sex with them in that kind of way. So, you know, he's he's gay, sis. You know what I'm saying? You know, he's most likely probably been in prison, was gay in prison, and now home probably used to be what drug drug dope dealer. That's the, the story. Some of the big time most dope dealers, head dope dealers, uh be the one that was in there being with men had wives or was a wife you know was the bottom because i got to get real with you guys it's some things that have to be said and um it's you know god just don't want you one thing about god yeah he don't like for his children to be made out of no food and he don't like us to be in the dark so if it takes me to come and spurt it out spread it out and you know i don't know you and you don't know me but if this is you and you know this is for you then you know what you need to do and you don't have to amen, you know, and then as long as you, 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 you listen to this and you know that if this fits your life, then you know what you got to do. You got to pay more attention to your children. It's sis, 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 uh, you know, it ain't worth it. You know, you, you know, your children are more, the most important thing to you. For some of you that have children, they're the most important thing in the world. Not a man. I know everybody wants the, the, the husband and the wife and the look, the picket fence and the little family thing. But God, one time he told me, he said, if you was to leave your husband, if I was to leave my husband, he said, I'm faithful. He said, I don't cheat. He said, I provide for you and give you everything that you need. You won't have your worries will be no more. That's what God told me. If I choose to leave my husband for ways that he have that I don't like, or that if I don't see a change, and I'm just being, I'm getting real with y'all now because I'm married. But even though I am married at this point, if my husband is not getting to the place where he needs to be with God and I leave him, God has reassured me that he is my husband and that I don't have anything to worry about. And the day that I, because he already take care of me anyway. So the day that, I actually don't have a physical husband. That's when he's going to really step up and show out in my life. So we got to get past all those. It's some of y'all that got those uh, sexual desires. It's because of that man making you probably watch, watch porn and all that kind of stuff. Making you watch all that kind of stuff. And then y'all doing like threesomes and bringing, you know how many different spirits y'all bring, bringing into y'all relationship. You know, seriously. 
you know, you gonna let him, you know what I'm saying? Do you like that or whatever? Just pretty much whore you out like that? No, don't do that. You're better than that. You're worth more than that. Don't do that. You know, don't let nobody handle you like that or whatever. You 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 shouldn't have to do things. And some of you are very uncomfortable with a lot of things that these men are asking you to do. You don't even like it. And how dare you do something that you don't like? Mm -mm, no way. But um, that's all I had to say. I love y'all. And um, I'm, you know, and let me pray for y'all before I go because this is like a video that is every once in a while I do something that I don't even know I'm going to do. But I just do it. But um, as far as doing your part, do your part in the body of Christ. Don't worry about what this person, that person is doing. Don't worry about what's going on in the world. Just do what thus said the Lord for you to do. You know, keep praying. Keep reading your Bible. Keep trusting and believing. Walking that walk. You know, removing yourself from anybody that's going to take you back to the old you. We don't need that. If they're going to bring out an old person that you used to be, leave them alone. At this point, I would rather people stay away, but I'm at a place where I'm so over it that I'll look the person in their face and just say, hey, sir, uh, bro, it ain't, we, it, it ain't that we, we really ain't got nothing in common. We ain't got nothing in common that I can go ahead on and rebuke you and say, you got this, that, 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 that you dealing with. I don't like it. Jesus don't like it. And I don't want it around me. Get away in the name of Jesus. I repent. I would prefer you to repent, you know? So it just comes to a point. But uh, let me pray. Father God in heaven, Lord, I love you. I thank you. I need you. I praise you. Lord, whoever this word is for, Father God, bring about a change. Let this word hit their hearts, Father God. This was a, what is it, a, a exhortation. Let it hit, hit their heart, Father God. Let it speak to them, Father God, deep down in their soul, in their spirit, man. Father God, I, as I release it, Lord, I, I allow you to anoint this word, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Only you can do it, Lord. Only you. Help them, Lord. Have mercy on their souls, Father God. Have mercy on their souls. Amen. All right, y'all. That was... <sighs> yeah. But sometimes... When he want to say something, I just let him say what got to be said. All right. Bye-bye.